Hello everyone, this is uh, Steve Best with Affinity Consulting Group and wanted to make a quick video for you to show you how I think you can uh, produce your pre-bills as a PC Law user uh, and distribute them electronically and not have to uh, print out some paper and then you know deliver them to partners' homes. You should be able to use PC Law and leverage it to email your pre-bills and I'll show you also an example of what I'm calling a pre-bill errata sheet. For those uh, attorneys out there that perhaps are not comfortable editing a PDF. So one of the first things that you're going to need to be sure that you have uh, for the uh, person who's doing the bills or, or producing the pre-bills is you're going to make sure, need to make sure that you have what I call PDF production software. So that would be something like Adobe Acrobat or Nuance PDF or Qt PDF or Nitro PDF, uh, as long as you can print to a PDF printer. And here's what I mean about that. So let me go ahead and open up uh, my, my program of choice, which is uh, Nuance PDF. Let me get that open here. And should have had it open for you already, but I didn't, so pardon me. So this is called Nuance Power PDF. And this program, when you install it, and this is gonna be critical for you to be able to produce pre-bills to PDF and get them to the attorneys by email. Uh, this program, when you install it, installs a print driver. And so when you come over to PC Law and you go to File and you go to Printer and you select Pre-bill, I want you to change the printer from your paper printer to the PDF printer. Now, understand PC Law has a PDF uh, driver. That's not the quite the same as a PDF printer. So make sure that you change your pre-bill to the PDF printer. And then when you go to run your pre-bills, the other thing that I want you to do is make sure that your uh, pre-bill template has entry numbers on it. And just to show you an example of that, um, if you come under options and you go to system settings and we come over to the billing tab, there is a pre-bill template built in. Now, if you've got one customized, that's fine, um, but you're gonna wanna add the entry number uh, and that's gonna make it easy for you as the billing person to make edits from the you know, proposed errata sheet that I'm gonna use. If you don't have your entry number on your pre-bill or you put your pre-bills on your bill template uh, and that's how you edit, I want you to change your template here. So click on to the, into the pre-bill uh, template window and choose the one called, that's called PRE. Now that's included with every PC Law installation. So if you've got the entry numbers on your pre-bills, fine. If you don't have the entry numbers on your pre-bills, I want you to change just for the time being until you know life gets back to normal, uh, change to the pre-bill template and that's gonna give you the entry number and I'll show you why that's important in just a moment. So we're gonna click OK here and then I'm gonna hit Create Pre-bill. Now, when I hit the Create Pre-Bill button, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and set my parameters up just like I normally would. I can do it by the, by the attorney. I mean, I could set date ranges if I want to. Nothing is gonna change here except that I want you to change this from screen to printer, the output, and I want you to print to that PDF printer. Now, if you set it up like I showed you under the file menu, it should be there for de by default. And then I want you to go ahead and produce your pre-bills. Now, what's gonna happen is as you produce them, it's gonna stop every time as long as you set the printer to that PDF printer. It could be Adobe PDF, it could be Nitro PDF, it could be any PDF. Mine is, again, mine's the Nuance PDF printer. It's gonna stop and let you name the document. And that's important because um, you're gonna to wanna to send the PDFs to the attorney for him or her to make edits. So I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna set any parameters. I'm gonna let the system find all the eligible pre-bills for me. I'm gonna click OK. It's gonna produce the pre-bill. It's gonna stop and say, okay, now what do you wanna call this? So one of the things that you could do here is create a folder right here on the fly for each attorney. So I'm gonna right click here and I'm gonna hit folder and I'm gonna say this is Sam's pre-bills. And I'll double click on that folder. And I want you to name the file something that's gonna be meaningful. Maybe you'll give it the matter number. So 102001, uh, and maybe put the date on it. And I like to put my to do my dates like 2020-03-27, uh, 
PDF. And that way I know it's the pre-bill for matter 102001. That's the date of the pre-bill. Yours presumably will be in April. I don't need to view the resulting PDF. I'm going to hit save. PC Law is going to go and do the next one. And then I'll select that. I'll give it the next matter number carefully. You don't want to overwrite. Now, the reason I want you to do it this way is I want you to produce an individual PDF for each pre-bill and save. And then I only have two matters in my demo system, but yours would continue to run. And then what you can do is bring up Windows Explorer and come over to where you've saved those pre-bills. Uh, here's Sam's pre-bills. There they all are. Now, a lot of different things that you can do depending upon your PDF skills. You could put all these together into a PDF portfolio, assuming the attorney knows how to use them. But let's just assume that the attorney doesn't know anything about PDFs and we just want to send him or her pre-bills while he or she is working from home. Highlight them all, right click, go ahead and send it to a compressed zip folder. Okay, now these pre-bills are not very big, but uh, you know the pre-bill run could be quite large. So you, you have the option, of course, of sending them to a zip folder. If not, just go ahead and highlight them all. You can also right click and you could say send to the mail, a mail recipient. And what that will do is it will open it up in Outlook and have all the PDFs attached with the matter number and the date, just like you've named it. Go ahead and send it to Sam. I'm gonna send it to myself. And we'll just call this March Pre-Bills. And we'll go ahead and hit send right there and that'll go out and it'll come into Sam's now, Sam's inbox. Now remember, if the PDFs are large, you're gonna to wanna to zip them. If the PDFs, if you've got a big volume of PDFs, you may have some difficulty attaching them all. You may have to send them in multiple emails. But then when Sam gets them, he can open up each one, review the pre-bill. And if he wants to make a change, if Sam has, if Sam, again, Sam is my mythical lawyer, if Sam has the, uh, the knowledge as to how to edit a, edit a PDF or modify a PDF or uh, comment on a PDF, and in, in Nuance PDF, there's a comment button right here, and I can simply comment and add a note, you know, click on here and type, you know, please reword this to say uh, this and that and other legal stuff um, and or and write time down to 2.4 okay so that's one way to, to edit a PDF assuming that that your, your lawyers are comfortable with that and then also depends upon their you know P, their comfort skills in editing a PDF now if they don't have a comfort skill in editing a, editing a PDF the other thing you could do is give them an example of what I'm going to call a pre-bill errata sheet so send them this in Word, and we will be happy to send you an example of this or provide this to you uh, free of charge. And you can just have them uh, type out the entry number. Now, again, let's go back to the pre-bill for one moment. I'm going to click back onto the PDF. Entry number two. So the entry number shows up on this pre-bill template. That's why I want you to use this pre-bill template, the entry number. So now Sam can say, instead of doing an edit, he can say, okay, entry number two, the matter number is 101-002. Okay, change this to read like this and write time down to 2.4, something like that. And then this gives you a checklist where which you can go through and we can even add to it. Maybe I will, I'll go ahead and add a column with a checkbox so you can check it off that you've made the changes and then if Sam wants to see the pre-bill again, you, of course, can produce the pre-bill and email him the change, or you can go ahead and uh, mark it up and get the bill out. So you've got lots of different options. As a PC Law user, I highly suggest that uh, you go ahead and produce your pre-bills to PDF and email them to the partners or to the attorneys who need to review them. While I Now, one other thing that I want to point out to you here is when you go to make the edits, you can actually edit the time and, and expense entries by their entry number. So I'm going to come into the register. And if I want to edit entry number two, I'll come over to the time register. And right here, you can select the filter button. One of the unique things about that entry number is it is a unique number in PC Law. It represents the record number in the database. So 
you don't have to worry about putting the matter number in. You can simply just enter that enter that entry number by click, going to the time register or the expense register, whichever is relevant, clicking on filters and putting in the entry number here. Now, in my case, I've got very low entry numbers. I'm going to put the number two in here and that pulls up that entry. Double click. You can make your changes and then save your changes back to PC Law, et cetera. And so that's really all there is to it. Um, again, the key to it is to, is to print to PDF production software, send the PDFs. Uh, attorneys are free to edit by adding a note to the PDF itself, or uh, let us know if you need a copy of that errata sheet or feel free to duplicate it yourself and edit by the entry number. And that should make things rather efficient. And perhaps even after um, our pandemic is over, you may continue to adopt this process going forward. It makes a much, much uh, less paper environment for you at the beginning of the month when pre-bills are produced. So thanks again for watching and uh, let us know at Affinity if we can be of any help to you. Our phone number is uh, 770-998-3800. Thank you.